So I think the three processes I would name, since I'm from the area of data analysis, are algorithms to exploit the available and new data better. But I also think that increasing the investment in the research and in the application of new measurements of cellular processes and cellular properties is going to be a key. And uh, the third thing I would mention is the combination of data from different sources, which will improve the precision of the prediction and of the diagnosis and prognosis for cancer patients. I would say maybe a new technology that is now appearing is single cell RNA measurements, uh, RNA sequencing, and that is, seems to me something with a great promise for the future. So, in my opinion, the big pharma companies with their hierarchical structures and the large number of people have trouble to really innovate. And I think that innovation is nowadays at least to 50% driven by small to medium enterprises. I know quite well one particular example and that's Novigenics. And I think they are thinking hard about how to improve the use of data in diagnostics. So I'm not an expert in this question, but I would guess that it all hinges on information. So if a company has a novel, innovative treatment or data usage or whatever, this needs to penetrate the usage by the doctors treating patients. And this will only happen if the information is available. So the companies are responsible to prepare the information for public consumption. And then maybe patient organizations, doctors organizations can take on the task of distributing it to its members or uh, the broader public.